hello guys in this video we will see how to create s3 bucket in aws go to console dot aws dot amazon dot com then select the root user or iam user see i'm going to log in with my root user then i'm going to provide password I have successfully logged in to my AWS console. If you are unable to find S3 on recently visited services, click on services, click on this search box and search for S3. S3 means simple storage service. Just click on this S3. See, it is global. Before, it has selected different region. See, Amazon S3 is an object storage service that offers industrial leading scalability data availability security and performance see these are the use cases backup and restore disaster recovery archive data lakes and big data analytics hybrid cloud storage cloud native application data and these are the case studies okay now click on this create bucket see the message here the bucket name must be unique within the global namespace and follow the bucket naming rules if you click on if you click on this you can see the rules for bucket naming see the bucket name must be between 3 and max 63 characters you can go through these bucket naming rules and follow and these are the valid names and these are valid but not recommended and these are not valid why because it contains underscore bucket name must not contain uppercase letter also it cannot end with hyphen you have to remember this okay go to create bucket page here i am giving name as r2 schools if i give like this I, it is available otherwise if you give new bucket Try to click on create bucket. It will throw error. See, bucket name already exists. Or if you give like my first bucket, it also created in some other accounts. So, I am giving the unique name. I am guessing this one. Admin 1. Then click on see. It is OK. Now, select the region. You can select region of your choice. I am going with the default one. That is East 1. US East 1. If you want to copy existing settings of the bucket just click on choose bucket i don't have any bucket so i'm not going to select just click on choose one see at present i don't there are any buckets we can get them so closing this one next object ownership at present i am disabling this acls okay it is also recommended we enable see the options are changed at present i am disabling next block public access settings for this bucket if you want to enable public access you have to uncheck this one if you want to block then you have to keep the checkbox as it is at present i am not going to allow public access so we have to keep the checkbox as it is bucket versioning suppose if you upload a file or folder to s3 bucket then if you modify it will create the versioning it is like github versioning okay at present it is disabled i am going to enable it tax if you want to provide tax you can provide this is the option i am not going to provide any tag if you want just click on and provide the name and value okay remove it default encryption see we have three types of encryptions sses that is server side encryption s3 sse kms dss e kms i am going with the first one and bucket key I am going to keep as it is. Next, advanced settings. Object lock. I am going to keep as it is. Later, we will see this one also. If you are satisfied with all these settings, click on create bucket. See, bucket has been created. Click on view details. Click on buckets. See, click on this bucket name. If you want to upload a file, click on this upload or click on uploads. Both are same. So click on upload. 
click on add files go to c drive go to xam https docs click on this index.php click on open see file is added the same if you want add folder just you have to select the folder and you have to click on upload permissions click on properties at present i'm not going to change anything okay click on the properties here we have the storage classes see the default storage is standard availability zones are more than three select the storage of the type which you require but default is the standard okay i'm not going to change remaining options i'm not going to change if you want to add metadata you have to provide the information about this file okay now this is the destination okay now click on this upload right it is uploading see we have one file now go back to close this one go to buckets click on the bucket name see we have uploaded one file in the same way we can also drag the file open the folders c drive exam https see simply this is the file that is hello.html simply drag to this one see you have successfully dragged in the same way if you want select the storage class you can select see it's a size is this one it is the it is of type html click on upload we have successfully uploaded close this one see now we have two files if you want to open this file just click on this file now open this one click on this open url see access is denied it is the default so now go back click on this bucket name click on permissions click on see we have to unblock this one click on this edit unblock click on save changes Con type confirm click on confirm it is success open this link in the video new new tab see still we are unable to open so again go back click on permissions we have to create the bucket policy click on edit see this is the bucket url so add new statement state SID can be anything I am giving test like that principal I am giving star which means all then effect allow action s3 dot get object see this is case sensitive s3 capsules get object then resource name this is the resource just copy it and paste that principal it must be in quotes here also we have to remove this square brackets and we have to give double quotes here also same double quotes see all the errors are gone save the changes see there is one expected error so go to the line number see error is it is not dot it is colon now error gone again i am repeating sid can be anything principal principal means the objects all objects are all s3 objects act effect is allow allow means it is going to allow us to open deny means it is not going to allow okay object is s3 dot get resources this is a resource okay this is for bucket name so we have to provide the upgrade bucket name then click on save changes you have to give slash and star then click on save we have successfully saved i'm going to keep this in the video description now refresh the page see the error gone if you have end doubt go back to the buckets click on bucket name now click on the url click on the url see we are able to access suppose if you want to upload a 
jpeg or any file click on upload add files go to downloads select the image and click on open click on upload go back to s3 bucket see we have uploaded the one jpeg file or ping file click on it click on this one see we are able to access so in this video we have seen how to create and how to access the s3 bucket publicly for more aws or devops videos please subscribe my channel thank you